Hi guys, I'm Arpit, your AI for Marketing Trainer. In today's video, we'll talk about AI tools that can enable non-coders to create and deploy sophisticated machine learning models. I've started a three-day live online AI for Marketing crash course. The link is in the description. You can check it out. Give your marketing an unfair advantage by leveraging the power of artificial intelligence. You must upskill to lead the way. I strongly recommend you guys should join this crash course. There's also an early bird offer. I can guarantee you will get to learn a lot of new stuff. Okay, let's come back on the topic. I strongly believe this video is pure value. I've worked really hard for this one. You can download all the resources like the links, the PDFs and a detailed explanation about all the tools that I'm just going to show you from the link given in the description. I've covered more than 100 tools divided in four major categories. If I go ahead and explain all these tools, it'll take me more than two hours. I wanted to keep this video short, so I'll give you a gist. But in case if you're interested in a full explanation and if you want to download all the resources, like I said, the link is in the description. Gone are the days when companies heavily relied on data scientists and data engineers. New age AI tools are quite simple to use. They empower marketers to successfully execute complex machine learning models without any code. Global AI tools market is witnessing a massive growth. According to the market research from Tractica, the global artificial intelligence software market is expected to experience massive growth in the coming years, with revenues increasing from around 9.5 billion US dollars in 2018 to an expected 118 billion dollars by 2025. The overall AI market includes a wide array of tools covering different aspects of AI such as web scraping, data mining, machine learning, data visualization, natural language processing, computer vision, conversational UI, robotic process automation. Top four companies that offer the entire suite of AI services in which a lot could be used by non-coders are Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and IBM. These companies offer more or less everything currently possible within the scope of AI. All four companies are leading the charge in providing machine learning as a service. Each platform has its pros and cons. Which platform is best for you depends on what you want to accomplish. All these four companies offer a separate platform for performing automated AI and ML tasks and a separate platform for custom modeling. The service is offered at two levels. First, for beginners, all of them have their automated platforms through which you could achieve a lot of ML and AI based tasks without any code. Second, for experienced data scientists that want to build more complex custom models, all of them support major frameworks and have built in algorithms for quick modeling. For easier understanding, we can break down the comparison into four major categories. Predictive analytic tasks, natural language processing APIs, image analysis APIs, and video analysis APIs. If you're not aware about these categories, I reckon you first watch my video about application of AI in marketing, where I explain about them in detail. Let's start by comparing top machine learning as a service vendors for predictive analytics tasks. So like I said, Amazon, IBM, Microsoft, and Google are leading the charge with AI tools. We've linked to each of these platforms. When you hover on their names, you can see their respective links. And we've also linked to each of the tool that we've mentioned here. In the first column, we've mentioned all the predictive tasks like classification, regression, clustering, anomaly detection, association rule learning, and ranking. I'll explain these in a bit. First, know this. A tick mark indicates the service is offered by that company and a cross indicates the service is not offered. Then you can also see we are using different colors for tick marks. A orange tick mark reflects no code is required. These are fully automated tasks which could easily be performed by non-coders and marketers. A green tick mark which you will see in the coming comparisons reflect little code is required. What we mean by little code is that in almost all the cases the code is already given you just need to copy paste it in the in the notebook that you're using for executing that task. A little basic knowledge of Python is required for executing these tasks, but like in the course, we teach you that much. With little effort, it could be performed by non-coders. Then finally, we have a pink tick mark, which reflects custom coding is required to execute these tasks. You will need a developer as you need to write custom code for performing these ones. 
Okay, so what are these predictive tasks? What can you do from them? Let's understand them in a simple language. There are several subclasses of ML problems based on what the prediction task looks like. In the table below, you can see examples of common supervised and unsupervised ML problems. Like the first is classification. Pick one of N labels. Examples, cat, dog, horse or bear. So if I talk about how classification is used in marketing, you can tell the model to predict whether a lead will convert or it will not convert. You can also build a classification model which can classify your customers into whether this customer will recommend your product to somebody else or whether it will not recommend your product to somebody else. Then we have regression. Here the model needs to predict numerical values like click-through rate, it could be sales, it could be your marketing mix. Then you have clustering, group similar examples like the example says most relevant documents. In marketing, clustering is used for segmenting your customers into various clusters and then you can you know, achieve a personalized marketing at scale. Clustering is sometimes also used for recommendation systems. Then you have association rule learning, infer likely association pattern in data. For example, if you buy hamburger buns, you are likely to buy hamburgers. Again, this is unsupervised machine learning and this is mainly used for recommendation engines. Then you have ranking, identify position on a scale or status. For example, search results ranking. So this one is pretty clear. Now that you understand what are predictive tasks, Let's discuss about each company and what they have to offer. Predictive Analytics with Amazon ML Amazon Machine Learning is one of the most automated solutions on the market. All data pre-processing operations are performed automatically. The service identifies which field are categorical and which are numerical and it doesn't ask a user to choose the method of further data pre-processing. Prediction capacities of Amazon ML are limited to three options, binary classification, multi-class classification and regression. They don't support any unsupervised learning methods as of now. A user isn't required to know any machine learning methods because Amazon chooses them automatically after looking at the provided data. IBM Watson Machine Learning Studio. IBM Studio has an auto AI which brings a fully automated data processing and model building interface that needs little to no training to start processing data, preparing models and deploying them into production. The automated part can solve three main types of tasks, binary classification, multi-class classification and regression. You can choose either a fully automated approach or manually pick the ML method to be used. Currently, IBM has 10 methods to cover these three group of tasks. I won't cover them here now, but you can download the resource if you're looking for a detailed explanation. Then we have Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. The roster of Microsoft Machine Learning products is similar to ones from Amazon, but Azure as of today seems to be more flexible in terms of out-of-the-box algorithms. Another great thing is almost all operations in Azure ML Studio must be completed using a graphical drag and drop interface. This includes data exploration, pre-processing, choosing methods and validating modeling results. Perhaps the main benefit of using Azure is the variety of algorithms available to play with. The studio supports around 100 methods that addresses classification, binary plus multi-class, anomaly detection, regression, recommendation, and text analysis. It's worth mentioning that the platform has one clustering algorithm, k-means. So as for me, Microsoft Azure has the maximum number of algorithms and it's the most automated platform. Then we have Google Cloud AutoML is a cloud-based ML platform tailored for inexperienced users. Customers can upload their datasets, train custom models and deploy them in the website. Needless to say, AutoML is fully integrated with all Google services. There are several products available with AutoML that you can access via a graphical interface. To briefly describe them, these are image and video processing services, a natural language processing and translation engine, and training models on structured data. Since each product can be accessed via an API, we'll cover them separately.
To wrap up with machine learning as a service for predictive analytics tasks, it seems that Azure has currently the most versatile tool set on this market. It covers the majority of ML related tasks, provides two distinct products for building custom models and a solid set of APIs for those who don't want to attack data science with their bare hands. Guys, I just realized that this video is becoming too long. I wanted to keep this video around 10 minutes. Uh, because in my experience that works best for YouTube's algorithm. I know I haven't covered the rest of the three categories. In fact, I haven't even covered predictive analytics in full detail. So if you're really, really, really interested, you can download all the resources, the PDFs, the links and the detailed explanation about these tools from the link uh, given in the description. I'm also hosting a free AI for marketing webinar. Feel free to join that if you want to learn more about this topic. I always try to bring up stuff that nobody is talking about so consider subscribing. Also hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out. If you think you learned something new today, smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.